Hello. So we're back at it again with some coasters. Sorry about the setup. I'm running out of oopsie paint in my container. So I'm going to try to do a different color today than what I've already tried. My little dog is in here with me. So if you hear strange noises, it's not me. Um, so sorry for all of the tile videos you're going to see in the near future, but that's where we're at right now. Got to gotta get things done. So I'm going to use, I really hadn't even figured this out before I started this video. I'm going to use Liquitex Light Blue Violet. Kind of down here in a messy way. We'll do a bluish purple one today. Maybe with a purple cell activator, navy, not sure. And why don't we add a little... Uh, a little love you pink just for a little this is in the new wildflower series from color art I guess I should specify that right y'all are like huh? um, before I forget there is a 20% off anything on the color arts website there's a code in the description box it should be Mandy 1120 um, just beautiful stuff if you have never tried it now's your chance um, the new prism pour first four colors are out which are amazing of course primary elements are always amazing and um, there's some new th fun things coming soon so can't wait um, but yeah I don't want to miss that so that one was Freesia from Color Art. This one is Tanzanite. Just gonna do a little bit of that one. Now I'm gonna use a little interference color. Um, we have used this is Avalon Shell. So this is a sparkle interference, but it has kind of a diamondy. Color. It's hard for the camera to pick that up. We're going to add a little sparkle. I've been using gold sparkle in the other ones, and so let's add some Avalon shell in this one. And then I think we will do some interference violet. Just kind of scattering it around. My paints are trying to run away from me. Um, so, if you haven't seen some of the previous videos, um, I mixed up, I have some Valspar pouring medium that I got to replace my Sherwin-Williams, which sadly, as many of you guys in the, the Bloom Technique community know, has been kind of out of commission. So, a lot of us went on a mad search for something, um, before I lose my train of thought. I just added a little bit of that light blue violet right underneath my cell activator. I think we're going to do a purple cell activator. So anyway, I use Bear um, from Home Depot now most of the time. Um, Tammy Anderson pointed out recently that she really liked... Uh, I would have to look it up. So, But that's an alternative, I guess, is my point. But I have the Valspar. I have a gallon of it. And I like it. I like the consistency of it. It's kind of thin, but it has a little too much white tint in the paint, and so it mutes the color. I don't like that. So I figured for these pale colors and opal-y looking colors, might as well use it, right? So, world's smallest blow dryer, or leaf blower, whatever this is. Super cool. Take off the black attachment. Works great for tiles. Um, mine's really dirty, so just don't judge me, okay? And now we're going to Blow down and across gently. Sometimes just to control it, I turn it off in between sections. Because the paint is thinner, we're going to get more of a lacing effect than those tight little cells, which is fine for what we're trying to accomplish. I didn't do the greatest job right here, but I don't want to mess up the lacing too much to fix it. So you see how we get more lacing than the tight little cells? That's 
because of the consistency of the paint. So I'm just going to do this to cover my corners, make it easier to spin out in a minute. We're going to let the cells kind of come back to the center. Sometimes if you rush it and you tilt or blow before it kind of comes back, it can mess up the composition a little bit. So, but look how soft and pretty that is. I wonder if I can show you guys. Sorry, my dog is like right here underneath me and I have some plastic on the floor because I'm in here where the carpet is and I just don't trust myself. But look at how pretty the composition is. And it's not picking up the, the color very well. I'll try to remember to bring you down for a close up in between. As you can see, the lighting in here is pretty wackadoo. You can see a little bit of the color shift. It's pretty, y'all. And that Avalon shell, you can't quite pick up that sparkle. It's really pretty. So now, I think we're ready to spin. So some of these are going to be pretty short because I'm just going to show you like the first one and not bore you with all of them because I think, you know, you might be a little bit bored with coasters by the time I make all these, but it's a fun color experiment. I love to get color inspiration by watching other people. And um, especially when it's outside of my norm because I tend to lean towards um, bright, bold colors. So it kind of pushes me outside of my comfort zone. So what you see me doing right here is you see right here, I have all this negative space. I didn't do the greatest job blowing that out. So that's why we are lacking lacing there. It's okay because this is going to be kind of opally looking. Still trying to catch that in the light for y'all. I'll show you in a minute, but that's why I did that. And because this is kind of fluid enough, I was able to move some of the paint back. So the thicker your paint is, the longer it tends to take to come back in the center. So just, you know, be patient with the process. This isn't sped up. Chloe, get away from there. Sorry. Chloe, over here. Sorry, she's my precious and she follows me everywhere. Lay down. Lay down. Thank you. Um, I'm going to spin this one more time. Just to make sure it doesn't have too much paint on it. Lay down, sweetie. Okay. And while we're doing that, um, I would super love it if you are not a subscriber, if you would hit that subscribe button, it should be right below the title of the video, hit the notification bell uh, so you are notified when we have new videos coming out. All of our social media links are below. We'd love it if you would follow us there. Our Etsy shop link is also there. Some of these won't be in Etsy for a little bit, but if you are interested, please message us. Um, our email is also listed below and um, we certainly appreciate everyone's continued support. I'm super excited. Our little channel's finally almost to a thousand subscribers. It took us a little while to get there because I was in grad school last year and I just couldn't give it the attention it needed, but I feel like we're getting there. So I'm going to take you down for a close-up. Okay, I have the overhead light on, and so this might mess this up, but you see that? You're probably not even able to see all that detail. But how pretty, right? And once this is under resin, whew, I did some yesterday that I haven't quite edited the video on, and they are like kind of a soft pink, and they turned out really beautiful. So I really like this. I think it turned out really neat. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.